Okay class, today we're in section 8.4, solve polynomial equations in factored form. 8.4, solve polynomial equations in factored form. Before, you solved linear equations. Now you will solve polynomial equations. Key vocabulary, roots, vertical motion model. You have learned the property of zero. For any real number a, a times zero equals zero. This is equivalent to saying for real numbers a and b, if a is zero or if, if b is zero, then a times b is zero. For real numbers a and b, if a equals zero or b equals zero, then a times b equals zero. Key concept, zero product property. Let a and b be real numbers. If a times b equals zero, then a is zero or b is zero. If a times b equals zero, that means that a has to be zero or b has to be zero. The zero product property is used to solve an equation when one side is zero and the other side is a product of polynomial factors. The solutions of such an equation are also called roots. The solution of such an equation are also called roots. Example one, use the zero product property. Solve x minus four times x plus two is equal to zero. First, we write the original equation. Then we apply the zero product property. x minus four equals zero or x plus two equals zero. And then we solve each for x. Here we end up with a one-step equation. So x is going to equal to 4. All we said was plus 4 here, plus 4 there. On this side, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. And we end up with x is equal to a negative 2. We said minus 2 here, minus 2 there. Once again, this will be a one-step equation. Okay, to make sure you understand the property, all they're saying here is that the x minus 4 that's your a, the x plus 2, that's your b. So a times b equals 0. a times b equals 0. So that means the a has to be 0 or the b has to be 0. If that's the case, you can solve for x. Also called the roots of the equation. So the roots here would be 4 or negative 2.